These are the later days, ladies and gentlemen. Shalom, God bless you. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing and nothing broken. 19 years ago, I asked God to use me. I asked, prayed to God for children, and I prayed both all of those prayers for Him. I said, God, use me and my children. And so that is what God is doing in these latter days. It is perilous times. The love has grown wax and cold and many. But this video is to further explain warlocks. Warlocks are not the, the depiction of what you see in movies and, and things of that nature. Warlocks are people at the top. They have power. A lot of them have uh, PhDs. A lot, and um, they instill fear with the use of controlling power. And what they do is they frighten the people who work directly under them, which then causes what we call emotional manipulation. Warlocks use their textbook knowledge to control a narrative, to continue the... Um, perpetuation of power and control they want complete power and control okay they don't smile if you see a person that has a warlock spirit they they're not happy people they're spiritually dead because they want power they want their will to be done hmm. they want they will to be done and they use oppressive strategic ways by instilling fear in the people that work directly under them. Now, in doing so, they somewhat create a void for the people who work directly under them. They 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 um, fill in a void that's missing in that person's life. And so the people who work under them, what happens is that they start to worship this person that's on top, this warlock that's on top. They worship them. They idolize them. They look up to everything they do. They can do no wrong, right? So now the warlock has two, three, four people under them that are now doing what the warlock wants to do, all right? And it's uh, they use emotional manipulation. They use textbook scenarios to um, to carry out what they want to do, right? <laughs> God told me to take heed and be quiet. So I will be obedient to the Most High God because the spirit of Elijah can't come out right now <laughs> the spirit of elijah has to take heed and be quiet but the truth is the truth you can't you cannot curse who god has blessed psalms 91 say the lord's prayer and keep that serenity prayer and walk in peace put on your full armor of, of righteousness put on your full armor of salvation you got to keep it on Please keep it off. Don't take it off ever. You need it. You need it in spiritual warfare. Ephesians 6.12, because we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. And so, since we're not, we must use our full armor. Ephesians 6.13. So, God bless you. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing and nothing broken. All right? And these, I'm in the belly of these broken systems, and I'm at their mercy. But God told me to take heed and be quiet. So, in my obedience to the Most High Sovereign God, I will do just that. Yes, no, and okay is my response from here on out. God bless you. I love you. Shalom.